Hi folks, and in this video what we're actually going to do is just add a few changes that we uh, should really add before we go on to the next video. And that's to create a master or parent object that we can use for our outfits. Now, what we've done in this previous video is actually added a simple object with a little image of a pickup of the tunic on top of it and a collision box around the outside which you then walk into the box sends a message to the player, sets the outfit number, tells you you've picked the tunic up, then destroys the actor. All pretty simple. But what we're actually going to do is create that into a master object, a master variable, which we can then use for all different armor types. So we're going to do this by first of all clicking on blueprint class, like so, and creating an actor, and we'll call this pick up armor. So this is going to be the parent. This is going to be in charge of all other class types of this type. So what we're going to do is click on this to start off with and then what we're going to do is add a sprite like so and this is just going to indicate what the actual object is going to be with our in our game world itself. There you go, it's actually preset to this one which is nothing at this moment in time but we can do something cool with that later on. Then we're going to add a collision box like so and just set this to the rough size so maybe 0 0.5 which would be about right depending on the object that we put inside it and now we're just going to do a quick bit of pickup code which is going to be quite simple so this is for armor so what we're actually going to have to do is update something we're going to create later on which is the actual official outfits for the actual player depending on this lovely index number here this then picks up what's going to happen and what's going to be worn so in this case it's going to be a tunic which then has all the lovely tunic data in just here which we'll create later don't worry about that at this moment in time so going back to our lovely lovely pickup object our master pickup object we're going to drag our collision box in like so click on component begin overlap and then we're going to cast to player oh, main player like so get the object to get player character like so and then what we're going to do is just output a print statement for this moment in time of the object name and then we're going to just destroy this object as a simple pickup object so I'm going to quickly chuck in a sprite into this so go to here We'll just put in the basic tunic sprites. There you go, that'll do. Drag this in and drop this into our game world. Of course, it appears in the weirdest location ever, but that's perfectly fine. Right, what we also might want to do is just make sure it's on the correct level for collision. So now we should have a lovely object which I can walk into and it says object name and I actually did one earlier which says pick up tunic. Now if you watch the next video it will quickly tell you a few bits of data that you have to add in to make this more advanced and then in about two seconds time I'll go over what you should then do later on for a bit of fun really. So in the previous video you were told to then build this section here and this is then casting to a data a lovely data type here of get outfit number just like here so this is the index that we need and this was a set and this will be for the tunic so it's setting this to one now what we're going to do is actually add two public variables for this one so the first one will be um, object index should be a integer type which is actually going to go into here I'm going to make it there you go so you can actually change it in the game world and then the second one is actually going to be the actual sprite information so what we're going to do is set right like so just drag this in here so and then we're going to get the actual sprite so if we create a variable this time and then we change this to sprite paper sprite 
Excellent, like so. We can now make this public, drag and drop it in here. Now, the reason why I did this was now, if I drag this object into here, into the game world, I can actually go about editing the object index and the sprite object just here, which is good because if I then want to create a child class of this object, so if I want to do one for tunic, I can right click, create empty child blueprint, there you go, call this tunic, like so, launch this up, drag this into our game world, then what we're actually going to do with our tunic class this time is just play with the actual variables in the game world. This is basically done to make it easier for your designers and developers who are building your game. Instead of having to worry about certain information and go into the blueprints, they can actually then just change the data on the fly here. So if I then set this to one, and this to the actual sprite sheet for our tunic, is that the one? That will do. Go to play. There you go, I have the tunic already. And it's done through a nice little child actor, which just makes it a bit easier to actually deal with. And then, of course, if you pick up multiple of the same object, it's going to throw it out and have some issues with it. So from now on, let's just do it from the actual child actor for your object. And just to keep it nice and tidy, we'll just move that into here. And what we can do is delete out the old one, which we no longer need, which is this one here. There you go. So our code now is a bit more functional, a bit nicer, and just a bit easier to use for an end game user. And that's how you uh, create a child actor from a uh, object within the game world.